Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies with me, Voltage McGammer. Today, I Zombie. Why are you helping them? That's not okay, man. You don't help the zombies. Okay. Oh, the cardboard, that's not, they're not gonna do too much. Eat all brains to pass the level. Okay, basic zombie. This looks like it's an easy one. In order to make zombies, you need sun. In order to get sun, you need to eat sunflowers. But they're just cardboard sunflowers, so they're not really that hard, right? Wrong. They act just like plants. The only difference is they look kind of faded and have that weird background. Fortunately, it looks like I kind of lucked out through that one right there. Alright, let's send a bucket head down this lane. Bucket head down this lane. Bucket head down this lane. And since I have enough power, let's send not one, but two football zombies. Followed by your run in the mill normal zombie. Yeah, I'm doing this level kind of sloppy. Why am I doing this level kind of sloppy? Because I can get away with it. One more brain to beat the level. I bet it's really cotton candy. I mean, after all, where would he get such a supply of brains? It seems like he barely uses his own, that crazy Dave. No fungus among us. Oh, well, that's the easiest thing I ever got. Eyes on B2! Basically, you keep on doing the same things. Alright, let's see here. A basic zombie will be able to take this pea shooter at close range. Which means I'll get lots of sun out of this area, right here. I don't have enough for a buckhead zombie yet, though. But, I think a buckethead zombie will be able to take that top row. I won't get very much sun out of it, though. If I want to get more sun, I'm going to need to use the power of the screen door zombie. His screen door will protect him from the snow peas. Go, screen door zombie, go! And for the other two, I'll just use bucket heads. These levels are too easy right now. This bucket head's getting pretty dented up. But it'll be okay. It's all about remembering what your enemies did to beat you earlier in the game. Or rather, the things that you already knew about them in order to defeat them easily. So, onwards. Can you dig it? I sure can! Alright, to get some easy things here, I'm gonna use this normal zombie in this lane first. Hmm. We're gonna have access to a digger zombie right now. But the digger zombie... Uh, he's not able to dig underneath these potato mines, and he's probably gonna get destroyed by the split pea. Ah, uh, there's potato mines. Oh well, 
let's sacrifice this guy. And then send another normal zombie up that top row. He'll be able to do it. Next, I'll use... Actually, I think a bucket head will be enough for this row. But for this row right here, this is ferocious. You need to dig or zombie. Now look at that. That has a power of six pea shooters right there. I don't think the bucket head would have been able to take it. So all you have to do is get it from behind. Let's see if the normal zombie will be able to get blown up by this potato mine before he dies to the split pea. Will he do it? Yeah, well done. And go bucket head. And now that's done, I can send a normal zombie down this way. Easy when you know how. It's really nice that you can set them up right next to this red line. You gotta take advantage of that. Otherwise, it's gonna be so much harder. You don't need to make it that much harder on yourself. Poor digger zombie. You will never taste brain. Or cotton candy. Or anything. All he eats is dirt. And vegetables. Totally nuts! Oh no, this area has walnuts. How will I ever cope? Hmm, that's a difficult question. But the answer is to use the ladder zombie. But the thing is, I'm pretty sure he's gonna die if I use him here. Oh uh, well, not too much I can do about it. Go ladder zombie! Worst case scenario, I can always reset. Well done, Ladder Zombie. You have succeeded where no other zombie could have. You defeated that Snoopy and got past that walnut. And now you've paid for yourself. Now to pay for others of your kind. Now, what to do about the others? Alright, let's do this. A ladder zombie, followed by a normal zombie. Yay! They did it together, as a team. Next up, we'll use... Hmm. The other areas might need more complicated maneuvers. Well, I can, though. Let's go with a ladder zombie with another zombie. The same strategy will work again. I'm pretty sure the ladder zombie's gonna die this time. Or not, because the other zombie was able to take a couple hits. Well done, other zombie. Same strategy again. This is going so good. You send two down at once, they have double the power and can get through these things pretty easily. That's the process in my mind, anyway. Alright, now here I just need to waste a ladder zombie and then use the awesomeness of the bucket head once they stop firing. Because, I mean, look at that. They just go straight through him. Even his ladder could not protect him. So, go Buckethead! Yes, that's right, Buckethead. Destroy! Destroy! Yes, that's right. Playing it the zombies. All ladders. I guess you could say this was a ladder match. 
But you wouldn't, because you're too keen for that. Next. Dead Zeppelin. In other words, we get balloon zombies now. But you gotta be careful with balloon zombies. Alright, let's see here. Where can I get the most sun for the least effort? I think... It's gonna be... Buckethead in one of these rows. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, I need that sun. Delicious sun. It nourishes the rest of the troops. I wonder if I should have sent two normal zombies down this row instead of one bucket head. Oh, well, better safe than sorry. Let's see here. I gotta be careful with the bucket head in this row. You see that magnet there? He'd be able to take that bucket right off his head. And that would be bad. Hmm. So, what can I do? Well, if I send the bucket head down this row, he should be fine. No, it's too close. I have to send him down this row. I get more sun here anyway. Man, if only I had a more durable alternative. Well, I could do this. Go, bungee zombie. Aha! Now then, go, Buckethead. Hmm, that one Buckethead's gonna get pretty beaten up. He'll be okay, though. All he needs to do is defeat that. I'm not even gonna bother with the balloon zombie. The bucket head is strong enough. Or is he? Looks like no. Go then, balloon zombie. Right on overhead. Fantastic. His technology has served him well. Yes, flying zombies. They are clearly the best available. Except for, you know, the giant thing that wields a whole, like, what, power pole. Get another eye zombie lumbel. Me smash. Why me smash? Cause me have gargantua. Next on let's play Plants vs Zombies with me, Voltage Megamer, Gargantua. Later, necromancers.